It's new at LU. My name is Mish. I'm Annie. I'm Maddie. And guys, we have 29 days until summer break. I know, it's crazy. How are you feeling about that, Mish? I'm on my third Celsius. Oh, gosh, say a quick prayer for our friend here. Um, guys, the semester might be winding down, but we have so many events still to look forward to, starting with the FAX Fashion Show. This student-led event will be held April 13th at 8 p.m. in the School of Music Concert Hall. Do not miss the annual Every Square Inch Conference held April 18th through the 19th. Yes, and join renowned author Sam Albury as he discusses his thoughts on theology and culture. We are all very excited to see that. And then the night is going to end with a night of worship led by Abby Gamboa in the Hay event space. Don't miss it. And if you want some more information, go to Liberty's website. Guys, dancing may be banned, but partying is not, especially at the after party coming up soon. Yeah, guys, party your little heart out in the LaHay parking lot on April 27th at 5 p.m. Take a much needed breather before finals. Just have a ton of fun, please. You will not want to miss this. There's going to be food trucks, carnival rides, live performances from Jordy Searcy, Josiah Queen. Check out this video for more information. Dr. David? David who? Dr. David Wheeler, of course. Head to the rot to hear him speak <laughs> April 18th at 12 p.m. You don't want to miss the School of Music's annual night of worship held at Thomas Rhodes April 14th at 7 p.m. That's right. Come worship with the students and our special guest, Charles Billingsley. Yes, be there for Billingsley and to worship, of course. Mish, wake up. Are you in the mood to shop? Shopper? Yes, shopping Saturday, April 20th. You would love to go to the Maker's Market. It's like totally you. Is that from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the LaHaye event space? You got it right. Featuring over 50 local vendors? Yeah, exactly. What? Yes, and this event is free, so you have no excuse to miss this. Free. 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 What's up, brother? Step them to the plate because baseball has a big conference series starting tonight against Jack State. Very special, April 12th at 6 p.m. It's a beautiful day. The weather's beautiful. Go outside, run over to the fields, be early, wear red, and support the team. Wow. What she said. Yes, and guys, I think that's all that's new today. So, yeah. yeah. Enjoy your day at LU. <laughs> God has called you to be extraordinary. All right, who's ready for a little for king and country today? Awesome. Hey, before we pray and before we move into our convo today, I want to thank you uh, for Serve Lynchburg coming up April 27th. We had 1,600 spots. We only have 300 spots left, so thank you for connecting. But we do want to make sure, if you've not already signed up, make sure you do that so you can get one of those slots so we can make sure we go out and make an impact for the gospel in our own community. Well, let's pray together 
and then we'll start our convo together today. Father, we thank you for the opportunity we have to come here today and worship. We pray that you would inhabit the praises of your people in this room. Lord, bless our time together today and make it one of those moments that we sit back and truly see the amazing gift that you are in our lives. God, we thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus, who died and rose again. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Guys, for King and Country. Top of the morning convocation. Let me see you on your feet. If you know it, sing along. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I forgot. I forgot. Um, Luke, we're actually not going to play any music this morning. We're just going to talk the whole time. So you guys go ahead. Go off stage. Yeah, go off. You know what we thought? We thought we've heard that this has been done to you many times where artists come and they don't play music. And so we thought we would double down and we'll play twice as much this morning. All right? Come you guys on. Do with that? Take two. Shout it out. Oh, 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 yeah. Hit rewinds, click to lead. Stand face to face with the younger me.
for the morning to you. Thanks for getting up and coming out. Convocation. So, we're going to go on a bit of a journey today. We should introduce you to the fine gentleman and lady up here on stage with us. This is for King and Country with a bit of acoustic flair, everyone. Starting with our acoustic guitar player with a heart of gold, give a cheer for Daniel Waterbury right here. Yes. And from the great city of Miami, bringing the Latino flair, Mr. Dilo Daniel Lopez. Our band leader, he's a number three on the Enneagram, just like me, a man of triplets, three names, Garrett P. Tyler. He's been with us longer than anyone else up here on stage, on bass, and many other things from the great state of Texas, y'all. Would you give it up for our man, Mr. Vincent DiCarlo? Woo! To the Texans. On behalf of all the ladies in the audience this morning, bringing the feminine flair, she is married to in a love affair with Garrett P. Tyler. On violin, Hannah Tyler, everybody. Yes. And in case you've not been with us before, I'm Joel. This is my little big brother, Luke. We are for King and Country, not for Queen and County. We're coming out into the audience to say good day to you on this next one. Take it away, little brother. How are we doing up here? Are we doing okay? You guys doing all right? Let's take a selfie together, just you and me. All right, carry on, guys and girls. I fell asleep in Liberty University. Woo! Oh, you should have seen her face. Oh, yeah. It feels like I'm stuck in a movie. Hey, that was never made. She's a strand.
Well done, well done. It's a beautiful thing to be loved right as we are, right where we are, no matter who we are or what we've done. Little brother. I am a little unstable. Loose wires always getting tangled now. I am a little bit difficult. I could be a little self critical now. sink deep into our souls so Luke and I are gonna sing you love me like I and then you shout them with a fist in the air just like this here we go you love me like I oh that's good you got more in there come on you love me like I all the fellas after Luke you love me like I ladies after me Together, loud and proud, shouting out, you love me like I ladies this morning let me hear from you you bashful bunch you in fact my dear down the front I want to give you this this morning let it be a reminder to you that you are worth more than all the money in the world and hear me girls no matter what has been said to you no matter what has been done to you no matter what lies have been told to you or about you or that you've told yourself, here are the facts. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You're an image bearer of God. 
You are priceless, my lady. We can cheer for that. Come on. Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, telling those lies upon that you flows. That isn't who you are. That isn't who you are. Oh, oh. It might be hard to see, but let me tell you, dear, if you could see what I could see, I know you would believe that isn't who you are. There's more to who you are. Every hand in the air like this. I found out a fun fact this morning. Do you know what convocation means? It means, I think, large gathering, but it also means a flock of eagles. Which is ironic because I don't think eagles fly in flocks. That's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> It's an honor to be in your presence this morning. Raise your hand and make some noise if you've been with us for a King Country show before. Let me see your hands, you legends. Raise your hand and make some noise if it's your first time ever. First timers, where are my first timers? Okay. Let me clear up a couple peculiar facts. Uh, these wonky accents, we're not from Boston. We're not from South Africa. We're from the land down under. Sydney, Australia. But tell them about our accents, Luke. Tell them about our accents. Yeah, I mean, here's the truth. You Americans, you see, you've jacked up my accent, all right? Yeah, so thanks very much. It's not as strong as it once was. We live in good old Nashville, Tennessee now, yo. Can I get a yee yeehaw? Virginia's good at the yeehaw. A little too good. 
Uh, we became American citizens a little while ago. We know more about your country than you do. <laughs> uh, Luke has created four half American children. True story with his wife. Um, crowning achievement, crowning achievement. Um, we're here to play music, uh, thank God. We're also here to share with you about a feature film uh, that is releasing in theaters in two weeks today around the United States of America through Lionsgate. It's called Unsung Hero. It circles around mums or moms. How do you say it? You sound like a herd of sheep. Well done. It circles around mums and miracles and music. It's a 90s film, it's a true story. Um, Pastor Josh is gonna be up here to talk about it in a moment. But um, it's a passion project for us because it's actually our parents' migration story coming from Australia to the United States. And so it's something that we believe in very deeply. I, I play our dad in uh, the film. I've dubbed it a very expensive therapy session. <laughs> and before we... Um, Go too much further, I'd like to play you a trailer from the movie, if that's all right. Let's see if this works. Take a look at the, yeah, have a seat. Rest your weary legs. Have a look at the screens. This is Unsung Hero. back home, I lost a lot of money. A life of pages, be How can we say goodbye to everything that we know and love? This is my last chance. I want to do something that matters. A heart that's hopeful, a head of However you guys feel about being here, we need to pray for everything that we need. But this becoming is harder than it seems. But look around you, your family, your faith. Feels like... That's what makes you rich in life. Welcome to Nashville, y'all. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. This is our exciting adventure. Together. Fire! You have been given a beautiful voice. She's a special one, David. Triggy's getting other folks to see it. Does anybody really care what a 16-year-old girl thinks about God? I'm trying to protect her, and it will never be enough! It's gonna be dangerous and scary. It's gonna be so hard that you wanna go back. And giving in, it's not an option. We've gotta fight our way forward. Your family, they're not in the way. They are the way. It takes a lot to live out your dream. Hard work and sacrifice. I train this to be like you. You're my hero, Mum. Are y'all from England? Australia. Australia. I wish I had an accent. Thank you kindly. More to come on that. If you're mindful of your mum this morning, I encourage you to send her a message. Tell her that you love her. We sing this song for every mum. If you've lost your mum or lost a little one, we're mindful of you as well. This goes under the same title as the movie, Unsung Hero. Once upon a time, you were 25. Walking up the aisle, you made the promise of your life. You blinked twice and you were 29, singing lullabies. And I looked up at you for the first time. Words for sure, but I am sure they'll never. Father, even when you were scared, 
in trouble. Oh, I never leave from there. And I love like my mother, like there's nothing to lose. You're our unsung heroes, and we sing this song for you. Would you stand to your feet with me once again? Have you got your cell phone on you? Would you flip that flashlight on and raise it in the sky? Let's light up this arena. I encourage you to turn your mind towards a friend who's carrying so much weight who needs to step into a new day to leave the past where it belongs. And if that's you, may your light represent hope of a brighter future. Let me sing this over us this morning. Step into a new day We can rise upon the dust and walk away We can dance upon the heart So light a match, leave the past, burn the sheep Step into a new day We can rise upon the dust and walk away We can dance upon the heart So light a match, leave the past, burn the sheaves And step into a new day
So light a match, leave the past, burn the ships. So light a match, leave the past, burn the ships. Won't you light a match, leave the past, burn the ships. Don't you look back, oh no. Don't you look back. Don't you look back Oh no Let's take a moment In the quiet Just us If you're holding on to it this morning Let's breathe in There's hope on the other side feel loved maybe 2,000 years ago God came to earth to prove that you are so loved you are so loved Too afraid of what might show up while you're dreaming. Nobody, nobody, nobody sees you. Nobody, nobody will believe you. And every day you try to pick up all the pieces, all the memories they somehow never leave you. Nobody, nobody, nobody sees you. Nobody, nobody will believe you. And
Is it alright if we play one more for you? Is it alright if we play one more for you? Alright. This is a, a fun track, a little samba beat. The only trouble is, on the recording it has a 100-piece gospel choir backing it up on the chorus, but we don't have one here today, little brother. But if you look around, maybe we do. Or do we? Repeat this after us, sing. Joy, joy. Oh, that's good, a little loud. Joy, joy. Three-part harmony. Joy, joy. One last time. Joy, joy. What did you think, little brother? It's early in the morning, and I think they're singing much better than we are, so thank you. Yeah, well done. All right, this song has a very sophisticated, unexpected, peculiar title that you're never going to see coming. It's called Joy. Whoa! Oh! Yeah! Lately I've been really watching the nightly news. Cold scenes of finery and just want to sing the blues. Feels like a song that never... I like it. Come on. I gotta get that fire, fire back in my bones before my hard heart turns into stone. So somebody please pass the megaphone. I shout it on the count of three. Shout it out. I think you guys are a bit stiff, I gotta be honest. I think you can move more. Alright? Feels like it's never gonna go. Gotta get that fire, fire back in my bones. Yeah. Before my heart, heart turns into stone. So will somebody please pass the megaphone like I'll shout it on the count of three count.
joins the Lynchburg to Virginia, the United States and the world. Well done to the King of Country Acoustic Band, everybody. Woo. Let's go. <clears throat> Give it up for, for King and Country, you guys. All right. We're going to talk for a few minutes about this movie, uh, but before, before we do that, I just want to say on behalf of LU, thank you. You guys are a... This is certainly not your first time here. You're a consistent uh, presence here over the last several years, for as long as I have been here. And if there's one word to describe you guys, it really is that. You guys consistently show up and serve. And, and man, you just bless us. So thank you. Let's sit down and let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this movie. It's not Christmas time, everyone. But if you stick around, we might have a little something up our sleeve. Who knows? We'll see. All right. Um, all right. Let's talk about Unsung Hero. Uh, this one's obviously personal for you. You've done films before, uh, but this one uh, is, is different. This one is, in many ways, your story. It's the story of um, your, your parents. It's the story of mom. Um, you play your dad. So just talk about what went into that decision to go, hey, let's, let's do that. What made you want to do that story? Yeah, yeah. So as we mentioned, originally born in Australia, and uh, our dad was a concert promoter in Australia. And one particular tour that he brought back to Australia, the tour didn't go very well, and, and we lost everything that we had as a family. We lost the house, we lost the car, we lost the life savings. And so dad was looking for a fresh start for his career, and uh, he got a job offer in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, some Nashvillians here, we have some? Okay, very good, very good. Uh, but we moved, and then soon after we arrived in Nashville, my dad lost that job. And so we're straight on the other side of the world, no friends, no family. Uh, we were sleeping on beds made out of clothes. Uh, we didn't have any way for our little sister to be born in a hospital. Uh, we weren't always quite sure where the next meal uh, was going to come from. We didn't have a car. And the list went on and on and on. It was a real difficult time for our family. And, and I've told some semblance of that story at a lot of places uh, over the last 11, 12 years as Fikian Country. We've had a lot of people come up and be like, hey, man, you know, you guys should write a book. And uh, the truth is, uh, Joel and I were homeschooled, so we don't read or write very well. And um... Shout out to the homeschoolers. I got you. Legends. That was a homeschool special for Liberty right there. Um, and, uh, but we thought, maybe, maybe what if we could make a movie instead? And uh, the truth is, the heartbeat behind the film is I believe in the power of family. I think family is more important today than it ever has been in the history of the world, you know? And, um, and there's a powerful quote that I read, uh, that we all read at around the time that we were developing the film, and it's from Mother Teresa. And she says, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And that's kind of the heartbeat behind uh, this movie. Beautiful, so you, you talked about playing your dad, Joel. Like that's, that's not a tall task or anything. I had the privilege of meeting your dad um, a couple of times. Um, and you don't forget that. Your dad is this larger than life figure, right? Um, so just talk about what, what was that like, stepping into those shoes and playing that role? Yeah, well, look, the thing I love about this film is it's kind of two there's two worlds going on simultaneously. On one hand, because <clears throat> we were so young at the time, it's an adventure film, you know? It's these kids going to a new land and starting over again and um, raking leaves and mowing lawns and cleaning houses and everything would go back into the family fun because we were just on the edge of poverty. And that was our experience as kids growing up, you know? We were very young at the time, but on the flip side, um, there was our parents' journey. And it looked very different. They were on the other side of the world from everything they knew, everyone they loved. Dad was, you know, compounding failure after job after job after job. He'd lost it. Um, there was personal loss in his life. And so it deals with so many of these layers of, of pride and insecurity and, and, and loss and how that impacts um, all of us, but how that impacted him. And I have to admit, I, I was pretty lazy with our dad's story before this film, you know. You just get frustrated. You know, you get frustrated at your parents. Like, God, why, well, you have these ticks. Why are you like this? This just doesn't, doesn't make sense. And, and it, was, it was really impactful for me um, to drop into his world 
and, and, and to literally step into his shoes, uh, even into his jacket. I wore the same jacket that he wore 30 years ago, literally, and go, what were you facing? You know, I'm roughly his age when he moved. Six kids, one on the way, wife in a high-risk pregnancy, no insurance, no way to be born in a hospital, no car, no furniture, like just compounding stress. And so it was pretty profound. And it was also really profound to re reenact these miracles that we sort of inexplicably felt and sensed along the way, yeah. When I think of your dad, I think of this just fearless faith, this just sense of, um, a sense of destiny, a sense of purpose, and this just un unashamed commitment to his family, belief in you guys, and so what a beautiful uh, chance to tell that story. What's the, um, I, we, you talked about family, but what is your hope for, for what God does with this film? What do you hope is the takeaway for people as they see this film for themselves? What's, what's the hope? Yeah, man, I mean, I think that um, if we wanna see revival in the Western world, I think it's gonna come through the family. And I think that probably some of you here might be thinking to yourself, well, look, I'm away from my, my family right now. You know, I don't, I don't have the opportunity maybe to speak into my family. Well, here's what I would say. The people that you're sitting next to here for four years, if you're a freshman, they're your family. If you're a senior here, the people that are, go uh, beneath you, the way that you love them, the way that you care for them, uh, has everything to do with family. And so my hope is, is that people will, will, will uh, return home. And the other thing I will say this, when you get to the ages that you kids are at, who are no longer kids, you're ladies, you're men, your parents actually long for your input into their life now. It flips, it changes. And the way that you honor and respect them in these years that you are here at college has everything to do with probably the way that you will raise your kids, the way that you will go about your life, and when you become at the ages that you are, you're somewhat equal to your parents and they long for communion with you. They actually long with friendship with you and you play a vital role in the influence of where your family goes from here until uh, you know, however long you're, you get the privilege of being with your, with your parents. But my hope is that people will go home and they'll love their families. I hope that fathers go home and they say, man, I wanna be a better dad. I hope that mothers see themselves in, in our mom's character and they say all the in invisible things that I think that don't matter shape people. I hope that brothers start to, and sisters start to see just because I'm young, I can dream big dreams and God can do extraordinary things with dreams. So that's my hope that people will take away from this film. Absolutely. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not sure there's a place that has a I'm not sure you've got a bigger fan base than in this room right here. Liberty University loves for King of Country. And so we're gonna go see it, uh, but beyond just going to see it, how can we help? Like what's, yeah. what's the best way that we can support and lean into to you guys in this? Well, it's, uh, it releases around the country in, Lionsgate's put in over 2,000 theaters. Releases in two weeks from today. So we're like D-Day right now. And, and you guys will probably know this, but in, in music, when we release an album, you have years to tour it, to promote it, to release singles. But with theatrical releases in movies, that first weekend, the box office of that first weekend is what they're all counting on. They're looking at that going, is this a success? Do people want more films like this, et cetera? And so I just say this, I say if you love the 90s, if you love you, if you love '90s music, some of you know, them may have not been alive in the '90s. <laughs> they weren't. I was doing the math. I was like, most of them weren't even born. Um, <laughs> but if you love '90s music, you know Seal and and Rod Stewart and Amy Grant and Jesus Jones and Michael W. Smith and Striper and Lenny Kravitz. It's all packed into this uh, into this film. If you love if you love your mum. And if you love movies, man, I know you guys have a great film division here. I'd say, come on out. And I wanna do something. I wanna do something this morning that I'm probably gonna get in trouble for when I go backstage. But um, we have a little bit of money set aside to um, purchase some tickets on, on your behalf. So I wanna make a deal with you. This is, hey, this is just, what do they call it? Like Boy Girl Scouts code, okay? Josh Walsh, our primary producer, is here. Can we give a cheer for Josh Walsh? The, the film wouldn't exist without him. I don't know where he is, but if this works out, it's because I said it could, and if it doesn't, it's his fault. Um, but um, I wanna figure out, Josh, we'll talk about it when we leave, figure out a way to offer 
everyone here a free ticket on one condition, on one condition, that you buy a ticket for a friend, okay? And on, two, well, two conditions, that you go see it on the 26th, the 27th, or the 28th, okay? Yeah. And on the third condition, if you name your first child after me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Just keeps going. Hey, that's an amazing, that's a, that's a big ask yeah. right there. Hey, the other thing I would say to, the, to you guys is this, when it comes to, you know, a lot of people coming to speak to you and they have a lot of people that are saying, hey, help us out. But I will say this, in the marketing world, the ages between 18 and 27 are the most prized, influential ages that marketers come after. And so any types of things that you do, when you guys speak, you may not think it takes, has influence or it has power, it has the most power. And so when it comes to an opportunity like this, uh, anything that you guys can do, just as far as you're in your sphere, is uh, tremendously important on the socials and all those things, all the things that we know. But you guys are very valued and very prized. Um, one, thank you. Uh, two, um, also, Josh Walsh is going to be sticking around um, for the rest of the day because tonight, I know the movie releases in two weeks, but tonight at the Liberty Cinema, uh, limited seating, uh, but he's actually going to be doing a Q&A and then showing uh, the film tonight at Liberty Cinema. First come, first serve for those who want to be a part of it. That's at 7 o'clock. Then the movie releases in two weeks. We'll talk after about the, about the tickets and all that sort of stuff. Um, you guys want to end this thing or you guys want to hear a little bit more? Last thing I'll say before I get out of the way, um, if you love them and you want to go and support them up in 117, they've got a bunch of merchandise they brought. Go there afterwards, support what they do. Give it up one more time for King & Country, you guys. It's Christmas time in Virginia.
then he smiled at me, pum 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 pum. Me and my drone. Me and my drone. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yours makes us feel so very loved. We'll see you in the cinemas. Come on.